Hey everyone, in today's video I'll show you a day in the life of a postdoctoral fellow. For those who are new, hi, I'm Lexi. I completed my PhD in the spring of 2023 and I'm currently a research scientist at a children's hospital. My work sent me to this lab in Montreal to learn some of the modeling as a postdoc so I can apply it to their pediatric patients in-house. So this is kind of a typical day of what my postdoctoral fellow looks like. My morning starts at 6.45 in the morning. I set my alarm and I'm always one of those people that when my alarm goes off, I get up right away. I just find it makes my life a lot easier. I never have hit the snooze button. But the first thing I do after I get out of bed is put the kettle on so that the water can boil while I get ready, wash my face and brush my teeth. So this is kind of just my typical, I try to do, make my mornings as simple as possible. So I like to leave out a lot of my stuff so that already my lunch is already packed and ready to go. I have my tea kind of all planned out and ready to go so I find it just makes my life a lot easier so the first thing I do is I just kind of brush my teeth do my skincare and after the kettle has boiled I will then kind of fill it up with hot water so that it can steep a little bit I'll have yogurt every single morning and after I finish my breakfast I will go through my bullet journal and do my habit tracker from the previous day I always like to make my bed every morning so I get that going and I will get dressed into my clothes for the day and I will put on my engagement ring. My fiance is currently back home in Cleveland while I'm up here for a couple more weeks so it just we got engaged in Montreal so Montreal has always been a special place so I like having my ring to kind of always think of him. When I finish getting ready I'll brush out my hair put deodorant on and then I will do my sunscreen which is always important and then my mascara as well that's the only kind of makeup that I typically wear during the day. I'm very low maintenance like I said in the morning. So after that then I will get ready. I'll get my bloodstones on because the weather has been pretty crazy recently. It's been minus 15 and today it was 12. So the weather has been all over the place so I will grab all my stuff and then I will head out the door. My walk to work is about 15 minutes so I will walk there. Um, today like I said was very mild. It was abnormally warm. And so um, I was just enjoying the sunshine and the warmer weather. I usually get to work around 7.30 and I will put my lunch in the fridge at work so it can stay cool. And um, once I've settled in, I will first always look through my emails that came in over the evening, just double check everything, make sure I'm up to date. And I always like to go through my planner. I've had the Erin Condren daily planner for many, many years now and it is my favorite thing ever. So I like to kind of just double check to make sure I did everything that I needed to do yesterday and then kind of see what I have plan for today as well. I find it just I really like to be organized and I like checking off the boxes of things that I need to complete. Right now currently I'm in the data analysis section for one of my major projects so there was over 288 simulations for scoliosis spine surgery so I'm in the process of kind of analyzing that data and halfway through my morning the computer decided to do a 15 minute update so after that was done I got back to work and before I knew it it was lunchtime and I had leftovers. I like to kind of make all my dinners in bulk. So I had some rice with chicken, leeks, peppers, a little bit of feta, um, all that stuff. And I had a little icy square, which is like a chocolate for my little dessert. And during my lunch break, I like to kind of spend some time reading as well, just some quiet time to decompress. Um, there's no one in this office, really. It's just me most of the time. So I just kind of enjoy my quiet time doing some reading. And then after my lunch break, I kind of finish up my work for the afternoon. Like I said, I'm just mostly doing my data analysis stuff and I've been trying to make like a MATLAB code to make some nice graphs. So it does take a while, but as you can see, I'm literally the only person in the lab, which is a little bit weird. Um, but I usually will head out for the day around 3.30. And so after I packed up, um, I will kind of head home and like I said today was very very warm and very very blustery so I didn't even really need my jacket if I'm being honest but um, I usually head out the door around 3 30 and then take the 15 minute walk home the sun was shining the wind was very blustery and it was just very very warm it felt like it felt like the perfect spring day um, so when I get home the first thing I do is I just always put my Tupperware in the dishwasher again I just like to make my life as simple as possible and then I pack my lunch for the next day I just do it now and then I don't have to worry about it so I just kind of keep that going 
and I also clear out my little thermos that I do my teas in for the day. Um, so today was a lower body workout day, which is my least favorite time of like workout of all time. I've just had so many ACL injuries. I've torn it twice. So I've been trying to, even though that was a long time ago, I've been trying to get some strength back into my knee and my legs in particular. So I like to do the MadFit workouts. I love her app. I literally use it four or five times a week and you can see my pain face. I've definitely made a lot of really great improvements and I'm definitely going to probably be able to move up it to higher weights next time, I think. So that is exciting. It's really good to see all that progress. So after my workout, which was a killer, like I was dying, I was drenched. I will pro first have a protein uh, shake. I just have the protein powder with some water. Water, I'll mix that up and then I'll hop in the shower and after my shower I'll just blow dry my hair and relax a little bit so I've been reading rereading the stolen air by Holly Black so I've been reading that and then after my fiance finishes work he'll call me and we'll have dinner together via FaceTime so that is something that I always look forward to because I have been missing him for dinner again I just had some leftovers this was wild rice with mushrooms and chicken that I made over the weekend and I will just heat that up. I do like to kind of bake everything in bulk and I don't want to have a lot of food waste so I try to use up all my meals. So after I feed myself I then feed my sourdough starter uh, which came all the way with me from Cleveland to Montreal so it, it is thriving and I feed that and then for the rest of the evening I will just relax. I finished crocheting this blanket which I was really happy about and I ended up watching Miss Americana, the Taylor Swift documentary. I watched it when it first came out, like right before COVID and I never watched it since. So I decided that I would just pick it up, but I just had like a quiet evening. And like I said, I did finish my blanket and I also finished out the day with a nice tea latte. This is a, a birthday cake tea by David's Tea uh, with some oat milk. And then before bed, I, I like to get out my tea. So I just have it all ready to go in the morning. And I just go through my nighttime routine as well. I just have a very low maintenance skincare routine in the evening, which I really appreciate. And then before bed, I like to kind of just relax and put my heating pad on and read for a little bit. And my fiance will call me again when we're both in bed and we'll talk for a little bit and kind of share our screen and go through Instagram together and look at the puppies. And we kind of do that and I go to bed usually around quarter to 10. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.